Hey there Sam, when we deploy our app to the live production environment, it is inevitable for us to configure our WebSocket server to use a SSL certificate for WSS encrypted connection. And it is also probably a good idea to test your development environment with self-signed certificate before you push to the live production environment. Now here, I'm using a Docker environment as an example to show you how I set up the SSL certificate. If you haven't learned about Docker yet, this section might be a little bit confusing to you. But that's okay, just think of Docker as a virtual machine and try to follow along with this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a Docker tutorial series. I have a few Docker containers here, but what we need to focus now in particular is the Nginx container, which is our main web server, and also the workspace container, which is where I run our WebSocket server. And currently I'm running a shell instance inside the workspace container. And I'll start Laravel WebSocket by typing in PHP Addison WebSocket Serve. To configure the SSL certificate, the first thing that we need to do is to supply the path to our certificate in a .env file. Laravel WebSocket will read these values and attempt to read the certificate and its key when it's trying to set up a secure WebSocket server. So make sure that your app has read access to the certificate that you specify in this path. Otherwise, you'll encounter an error. These values are being read inside the WebSocket config file under the SSL key. And if you're using self-signed SSL certificate, you might want to disable some of the built-in authorization feature like verify peers and verify peer name. Otherwise, you might encounter an error. Next, we'll need to go to our broadcasting config file. And there's a few things that we need to configure here. In the option key, the host will be the host of your WebSocket server. In my case, it will be the name of my Docker container. If you're using Docker, make sure that you have configured your network correctly. We need to set encrypted to true and also scheme from HTTP to HTTPS and also set use TLS to true. If you're using self-signed certificate like me, you might also want to put in these two curl options. The reason is the same as before to disable some of the authorization feature for self-signed SSL to work. And now the last thing that we need to do is to configure echo. Let's go to bootstrap.js. In addition to WS port, you now also need to set a WSS port. And we want to set encrypted to true and also false TLS to true. And now it's time to test our connection. And if you have edited any of your WebSocket server settings, remember to restart your server. Let's go to our browser and I'll visit our WebSocket dashboard. I am greeted by a warning sign. And that's normal because I'm using a self-signed certificate. Just ignore the warning, it's totally safe. I can guarantee you your safety. And now once we're in a dashboard, let's click on the connect button. And oh dear, we see an error in the console saying that we could not establish a connection to the WebSocket server. And the error message is not helpful at all. It did not tell us any reason whatsoever and I've spent a several painful hours figuring this one out. So it turns out that it's an issue with self-signed certificate. We have enabled the certificate for our web server just now in our browser, but we have yet to do so for our WebSocket server. So what we need to do here is to visit the WebSocket URL and change the protocol to HTTPS rather than WSS. And we're greeted by another warning page and by clicking on proceed, we are enabling the certificate for our WebSocket server. Now back to the dashboard, we can now connect to our WebSocket server. Problem solved. If you're using a SSL certificate with a valid authority, you won't be having these problems at all. And that's how you configure SSL in Laravel WebSockets. All right, key takeaways for this lesson. To configure SSL certificate for Laravel WebSocket, we need to set a certificate path in the .env file. And in the broadcasting.php config file, we will need to set the encrypted option to true and set scheme to HTTPS and set use TLS to true. For Laravel Echo, we will need to set the WSS port and encrypted to true and also false TLS to true. That's it for now and I'll see you again in the next lesson. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.